In this clarity review, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about this app. If you have any questions, please comment them below, and I'll also leave a discounted link so you can always get your money's worth for clarity. Clarity has drag and drop wireframing, and you can also start and manage websites and app projects faster and with team agreement. Once we log into Clarity, we come over here to the dashboard. And as we can see, we've got the two options, new board or sample board. So first, I'm just going to go on sample boards and have a little look around. Here, as we can see at the top, we've got home page, followed by register page, pricing, contact, and sign in and login. And below there, we've got the forgot password page. Now to edit any of these boxes, we can just hover over it and click on edit page. And we now have the option to edit the home page. So on the left hand side, we've got library. So below here, we've got a few options. We've got the grid option. And we could click onto there. We have text, but we could click to create text, a circle, a square, a line, and an arrow. And below there, we've got a search box where we can search through the library. We then have the navigation bar. So we can click on this and we can actually place this somewhere. So we could place that there, as we can see, that will show there. Of course, we don't need to do this as we've already got one above. So we could click onto there and click on delete. Below that, we have the breadcrumbs slash link where we could add a link. We've got a contact us teaser. Again, we could just drag this in if we wanted to. So we can put that above the contact us and pricing section. We then have a basic content card, icon and text card, and a jumbo category teaser. It's worth noting as well, as you've probably noticed, if they're sort of highlighted in red, then they're already here. We then have client logos cards and a basic form. Drag the basic form in here. And then as we can see, this shows on the preview. Below there, we've also got projects teaser, our awards card, office locations card, our team teaser, a news strip carousel, articles teaser, news and events teaser, news and events page, recommendations carousel, brands card, footer, category boxes teaser, subscribe to mailing list, and a banner carousel. Any single one of these we can drag into here and it will show on our preview side. You can also add an image, we could click on images. You could drag and drop your own image or search from your computer, or we could search for a specific image from our current images or from Unsplash. We also have elements next to images where we could search for a specific element, or we could choose from common, typography, icons, forms, buttons and links, web elements, and graphs. And then also at the very top, we've got the category section where we can select from all headers, content or footer. And next to there, we've also got types. So we've got banners, breadcrumbs, cards, contact or strip, footer, forms, heading, navigation bars, pages, subscribers strip and teasers. So if I was looking for a contact or strip, we could click on there and that brings up the contact us teaser. Now, if we go over to the right hand side, we can obviously select each element. So we could click on, do you have any questions? And we could obviously type in there, whatever we want. We could move around elements. So if I wanted to, I could move mobile number over there. And same with email. If I wanted to add an image, I could click on there on the image. We could click on add image, or obviously on the left-hand side, it comes up. We could search from Unsplash, browse from our computer. We also have arrangement options. So we could bring to front or center back, as well as deleting or duplicating. For text, we have an array of different information. We've got the text size, so it's set to 40. We could add it to 50, make it bigger. We could put it as bold, set the alignment from the left-hand side, central or the right, as well as more formatting options, such as strike through, underline, numbered list or bullet list. We then have icons, arrange, default, delete, or again, duplicate. We also have the option of creating a container. So if we click on the box, we could click on create new container, set a name, this will create a container for us. We can again delete that or duplicate. We can obviously zoom in 
or out as well. And we can also select the play button. This will take us over to another page where we can preview our page. Any changes we've made will show up here. Obviously you can spend quite a lot of time on this. You can also change the size. This is set to desktop, but you could add a tablet size or a mobile size. If we went on create, then that will take us over to another page and we can create it for a mobile phone. As well as this, we can also share the link, which will copy the link to the clipboard or add project members. So I could click on there. Obviously it's just got myself there, but we could invite members by their email. So we could either go back to edit the other pages, or if I hover over a home page, we've also got register page, which will take us over to there. We've got the pricing page, which will take us over to this page, contact, the contact us page, sign in slash login, and the forgot password page. And for every single one of these, we've got those same options. So on the left-hand side, we could add in elements, we could type over any text, we could move around the elements, add in pictures, etc. The possibilities are endless with this. What you can do as well is we can always add in a page. So obviously we're just on the sample. So obviously we're just on the sample project, but say if after contact, we wanted to add a page, we could click on add page there. We could start typing in a specific page or we could choose from here. We've got blank page, about us, basic text, blog, blog details, careers, contact, etc. So if I went for careers, we could go on add pages and that will be added in to after contact. Now, if we go back to the dashboard, this was just our sample board. If we want to create a new board from scratch, we can click on the plus new board, name our board. We could invite team members by entering their email here and we can go ahead and click on create boards. We can choose our project from website and apps, landing page, email campaign, or a custom category. So if I went for custom category, we could name that ourselves. You can also select your sizes. So it's automatically gonna select all of them, which is desktop, tablet, and mobile, but you can also set a custom size as well. Then if we go ahead and create project. So this is always gonna start with our home page. And we can edit the page that will take us over to the section we were at before or we can go and add pages and we could add in a blank page click on add page then we could go on to edit and we could make this page into whatever we want so we could drag in our story and then we could customize this add a picture fill in the text we could add in client logos and maybe a basic form at the bottom you can obviously keep playing around with this and keep adding more pages. Now it's gonna save the changes automatically. So once you're happy with your page, if you just go back onto text, we could edit the page further or we could add another page. That's gonna add in another blank page and you could keep doing this to customize it. Once you're happy, remember you can click on the play button and this is gonna take you over to a preview of your page. Back on the dashboard, if you've got multiple boards, you can sort them from recent to A to Z or archived. And you can also search for one of your boards as well. And that's pretty much everything. So what did I think of Clarity? Clarity was a simple way to create and manage a website. Its wireframe builder was really easy to use and there was a load of different customization options. I'm sure there was a way to change the color scheme of your page. However, I didn't come across this, so maybe this is something that could be a little bit simpler. Overall, however, I think Clarity is fantastic and I would definitely recommend. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time.